hope many of you have put off the dust from your book and brought it back. Uh, we will recollect what is uh, gone by a little bit. The boy here, the student, Nachiketa, is a very curious young man who wanted to find out the highest truths. The story began with uh, his father who was uh, giving away the old dilapidated cows as Dakshina to the Brahmanas, which obviously was not the right thing to do. And uh, the boy who was faithful to scriptures realized that the father would not get the due punya merit out of that act. Therefore, he decided to offer himself and asked his father, whom are you going to give me? The father being very busy with this uh, act of uh, giving away did not realize the question properly out of uh, perhaps mindlessly or anger. He says, Mrityave Dadami, I will give to death. The boy realized that uh, the father, when he says something like this in the altar of the fire, that has to be a true. The truth has to be maintained. So he says to him, do you know, not directly insulting him or saying that he did the wrong thing, he said, please follow what your ancestors have done, what the people who know the knowledge of the scriptures are doing, you should follow that. In fact, the birth and death is a continuous cycle like that of the corns that are born or sprouted and die at some point of time. Saying this, he proceeded to the abode of Yama. The lord of death was on a tour and he could not see the boy for three nights. These three nights, this boy remained without eating any food at the abode of Yama. And when he came back, his uh, house people said, a boy of this kind is like a fire. Therefore, go and appease him, first of all, by offering water, because a tapas, tapasvi, he can burn everything. So knowing the tradition, Yama goes to him. And even though Yama is a Brahma Jnani in this context, yet a Brahma Jignasu, a seeker of knowledge, is equally great. She addressed him, hey Brahman, I understand that you stayed for three nights without eating food at my place. Therefore, I give you three boons, you can ask. So the boy said, for the first boon, when I go back, my father should be pleased to welcome me, not angry, should recognize me and happy that I have come back. By which he accomplished many things, that he is going back, <laughs> not dead. That his father could recognize, that he is not going back as a ghost. And also, the father is pleased to welcome him, not angry. Tatastu, he gave him. Secondly, he said, there is, uh, I was told, a place called heaven. And I want to know the rituals that will lead to the heaven. What are the rituals and what to be done? Yama, in detail, explained to him this Swarga Agni, 
the fire ritual that can take a person to Swarga. And the boy uh, repeated it exactly verbatim, word by word, everything that was taught to him. Pleased by that, Yama said, you extra have hmm, Shringhan, Shringaha, meaning various other rituals also you learn and this particular ritual will be known by your name. Nachiketa Agni. So the boy was okay, said, All right, what is your third moon? He said, There is always a doubt. Yeyam prete vijikitsa manushe asti teke naya masti teke eda vidya manushishta stoyaham varana me shavarastrijiyana. There is a doubt in the world that there is something beyond death is. And some people say it is not. This knowledge I want to know. Obviously, from the very trend of the question, if it is not, what is there to learn? If it is, then that vidya I should know. And you are the right person to teach this because you are the one who knows what happens beyond death. From a young man of that age, Emma did not expect such a deep question. Therefore, he said, you know, I will give you many things, long life, all the various comforts and joys and pleasures of the heaven, human beings even cannot think about. Damsels and chariots and putra pautran branishva, not only sons and sons, grandsons, great grandsons, yavad jivasi, yavad ichasi. Jeeva, Jeevidam Yavachisya, as long as you want to live. So the boy said, you give me all these things, but everything comes to an end. Huh? And it is so undesirable to me to live long while everybody else dies. <laughs> and you gave me pleasures, etc. They are only going to drain away my energy. Alpidam jiva meva, even jividam alpa meva. Jarayanti tejaha, indriyanam tejaha, jarayanti, and these sense pleasures only drain away all the energies. So, what is the point? And one more thing is that since I have seen you, I am not afraid of death anymore. Because you are there. So long as you are there, you will you kill me? You won't. And since I have seen you, I have got the greatest wealth. So, I do not need what you are giving me. I need only one thing. Answer my question. Tavevavaha tamarati gita. Keep your dance and damsels with you. This having heard, the teacher here, Yama, was very pleased that here is a person who is of so much of vairagya. Whatever pleasures he has not seen, also he has given up. Even he has given up the Brahma Loka, Punyena Prapta. Even that which is obtained only by virtues of many, many lives, I am giving him in a golden platter. That also he said no. So he is really Mumukshu. Therefore, we saw up to the 14th, uh, sorry, 12th verse in first section, second chapter. Now we will start with 13th verse here. Edachrutva samparigri, Edachrutva samparigri, Yamartya. Prahrukya dharmam anume damapya. Samoda de modani yam hilabdwa. Vibhrutam satmana chiketa sammanye. I have explained to you, na chiketa, the word means, na means not. Chi chinoti, ketana abode. The boy is neither interested in ketana, meaning any possessiveness, 
and cheat uh, means cheat means to accumulate neither accumulating anything nor in possessing anything he is interested therefore he is called na chi keta so here yama says etat etat means this etat brahman that one that which is shrutva having heard having heard about this knowledge martyaha an individual who is subject to death samparigrihya having grasped grahanam to grasp gra gra so you see the english word grasp gra uh, grahanam to grab parigrihya having grasped the idea behind this whole knowledge also anum etam apya dharmam edam this which is of the nature of so much of subtlety dharmam anum etat prapya edam apya parivrhya having stayed away desist from so the two things he said that is to gain this knowledge most important thing is the availability of the mind which is what is getting educated here as i have explained to you before paramatma the self is all knowing but and nothing can be known by the body body is not an intelligent equipment in us it is only a matter what is that which is actually learning or knowing or getting educated is mana buddhi complex called antakarana so this mana buddhi which is known as uh, what is known as subtle body sukshma sharir is that which is getting to know so this mind and intellect complex the antakarana to make it available to realize the self it has to let go its identification with deha that is what is referred as parivrhya having desisted from so what is a sharira sharirat pratakritya understanding it to be other than the body matter ये धर्मम अनुम एतम प्राप्य दिस व्हिच इज ऑफ द नेचर ऑफ मोस्ट सटिलिटी सो वी हैव सीन अर्लियर इज अनोहो अनियान महतो महियान आत्मास्तु जंतो निहितम गुहायान द मोस्ट सटिल सच अ पर्सन बिकॉज़ हियर ही इज गिविंग अ फलश्रुति व्हाट हैपेंस व्हेन अ पर्सन गेन्स दिस नॉलेज सह मोदते mud modate modanam modaka bhagwan vishnu uh, bhagwan ganesha has what modak modak meaning that which is of the nature of extreme joy modaka modanam karodi idi modaka ka mean karodi sadanam karodi idi sadaka right modaka sadaka so that one which is causing the modana moda is modaka so moda de means one who enjoys relishes modaniyam labdwa having gained that which is most enjoyable so here are three things you understand parigrihya parivrhya labdwa three three are sadhanas here पहले तो है तो ज्ञान को सुनना सो दैट इज मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट वाइल लिजनिंग इट सेल्फ वन शुड स्टार्ट अंडरस्टैंडिंग दैट द मैटर इज नॉट द वन व्हिच इज सब्जेक्ट टू गिविंग मी प्लेशर इवन दो दैट इज वेयर वी आर राइट नाउ वी आर एट दिस मोमेंट हैव डिराइविंग ऑल द प्लेशर्स ओनली एट फ्रॉम द मैटर ओनली एंड दैट इज वेयर आवर लिमिटेड परसेप्शन ऑफ जॉय 
our limited perception of joy is decided by the nature of the senses and the quality of the objects. Both have to come together to enjoy anything, is it not? If the mind is preoccupied, indriyas are not functioning properly, then even the most desirable object cannot be enjoyed. Do you enjoy anything in sleep? No. Why? You, the mind is not available, even though sense organs are there, the object is there, but I am not able to enjoy anything. No, mind is there, but sense organs are not functioning well. Ah, uh, <laughs> you can't listen to any music anymore, even if you put the big, huge, you know, Bose, you know, cell, you know, noise cancelling, even then. Noise also cancels, sound is also cancelled. <laughs> <laughs> then what will you listen to? <laughs> so, indriyas are not in good condition, you can't enjoy. Mind is preoccupied, you can't enjoy. Objects are not available, you can't enjoy. So, what is this modaniyam? Yad modaniyam tad atma vastu eva. Because it is not relative, it is absolute. It is not depending upon anything else. Hmm. It is not depending upon the nature of objects, it is not depending upon the sense, the quality of the sense, it is not depending upon the availability of the mind. That is why when you sleep, you say, ah, shant me so I am. That enjoyment is not coming from the mind, not from the objects, not from the arrangement of things. That which is always there, modaniyam hi labdhva, Vivrudam Sadma, the entire palace called Brahmaloka, Najiketa Sammanye. The joy of Brahman is Sadma means palace. The, the entire palace of the abode of bliss is Vivrudam open for what? Najiketa Sammanye. For the Najiketa, it is open. Now, what does it mean? I am ready to impart that knowledge. Uh, so, this is an intro to what is coming up. I am ready to give you this knowledge. Now, you see, when we say that I love a thing or I love a person, you please note that if I say I love a person or I love a thing, usko prem karna padta hai. Karna hai means I have to do something. So, if there is an object, in, if I want to enjoy, I have to do an act of eating or act of seeing. If I want to enjoy the company of that person, then I have to do an act of introducing myself. That person has to find me, my company good. So, kuch karna padta hai. No, but in the case of Atma Tripti, kuch karna nahi padta hai. In this, there is no karma involved. In all other, even in the case of a dream experience, it is to happen. Something has to happen in the form of at least a thought modification. But Atma Prem, that is which, where there is no karma involved, only Jnana. Mai hu. Mai anand mai hu. In this, there is only awareness, there is no action. Hmm? And it cannot be given to you by somebody. I can take you to a place of pleasure and then you can enjoy that. Or I can give you an object of joy, I can, you can enjoy that. But in this case, it is not, neither the guru can do anything about it, nor the entire world can do anything about it. It is labdhva. You have to reach there. The teacher only guides you there. Modani hamgi labdhva. And that is the reason why Bhagavan Ramana Maharshi also said that one who has thus understood this, isha darshanam atma rupataha. Ishwara darshanam tu atma rupa tha hai, na, na murti rupa hai. Murti rupa mein milta hai, vahan pe 
tell the temple you get it o oh, murti roop ishwar hai but atma roop ishwar that is ananda roop the joy of the self is internal and therefore it cannot be provided by anything external so for that to enjoy you have to enjoy you have to parigrihya that's why he said having this turned away the attention from the matter identification deha abhimanam tyaktva ityartha deha abhimanam tyaktva samodate modaniyam so here nachiketa is one who is most of his why it is said that for this palace for palace of joy is open to nachiketa the reason being the primary reason being he has already at the portal of death think about him he is facing death right in front of him means what if i have to face death i unless i have deha abhimanam is given up then only i can face death one who is identifying himself as body will not be able to face death that's why dakshina murti also the portrayal of dakshina murti was dakshina amurti swarupatva dakshina murti iti katyade amurti he is facing south in in the sun, in the tradition of vedanta or tradition of hinduism south means death i mean not people in the south or death or something so even in uh, there is an expression you no know, when the, your business is not doing good what is it it's going south <laughs> what does it mean <laughs> i'm ready to file bankruptcy south means it is going down dakshina murti is facing what he is amrut swarupatvat sah he is he is of the nature of immortality therefore he is facing death mrityumukha but the students are facing north they are jnana abhimukha north is for knowledge south is for death so here they are facing him who is in the north knowledge he is facing death meaning what only when i gain that knowledge of the truth which he is able to withstand I mean, he is established in i can also face death so they are looking at his eyes we have also that picture he they are looking at his eyes and he is looking at death how to face death So here the boy is already at the portal of death, which means what? Deha bimanam is already gone in him. Unless he had gone, given up that, he would not be staying there for three nights and three days without food or anything. That is not possible. So having that now, Ajnachiketa is a little worried. This Yama in the process of giving me this and that and taking, deviating me, he forgot what I asked. It looks like. so let me reword the same thing <laughs> my question remains intact i want to know the highest truth now he puts it in a different way anyatra dharma danyatra dharma at anyatra asmat krita krita at अन्यत्र यत्तत्पश्यसी तद्वद डोंट रीड द इंग्लिश वडा विल कम देयर तद्वडा इट्स रिटन देयर तद्वडा व्हाट दैट इज मेदु वडा तद्वडा व्हाट इज तद्वडा dharmad anyatra adharmad anyatra anyah anyah is different dharmat anyah is to be given anyatra is given there there where there is no dharma or adharma that's what to be understood dharma is urdvam unnayati dharma hai urdvam unnayati it takes a person upward adharma hai tu adharma is it adogachati 
that which is dharma which takes a person from present position to the higher level adharma is that that makes a person from present condition to lower level anyatra means what does it mean there where dharma cannot take you any more further and adharma cannot push you down hmm. that is what i want to know anyatra dharma anyatra adharma See, very word dharma means dharanat dharma idi katyate. That's the definition. Dharanat. So, when I am tend to do something wrong, that which puts a break, dharma. Uh, it is not doing something, it is making me avoid doing something also is called dharma. In our you know, Vedic tradition, dharma is a particular set of rituals that are prescribed for an individual which he or she has to do for the sake of gaining punya, etc. That is one aspect of it. But in our Svyavaharika level, in our transactional world level, what is dharma? That which you are not supposed to do, when you tend to do, it stops you. If you are aware of dharma. It is like you know, traffic signal also. Uh, what is traffic signal? Dharma. <laughs> you may not follow that, that is also there, but you know the consequence. Stop it. So, what makes you stop? If you, if you, that is what, adharma is what, where you fail to do that. When you fail to do that, it pulls you down. It takes you down. So, in this world, when you say dharma, it is definitely not absolute. First thing we have to understand is, dharma cannot be absolute because it depends upon desha, kala, vastu. Which country you are, which time you are, what was there as dharma in the past may not be dharma today. What is dharma today was not the dharma of yesterday. The law also changes from place to place from position to position, from situation to situation, from stage of life to say another stage of life. For a grihastha, you know, having a children, wife, etc., those things are considered as dharma. For a sannyasin, it is not. <laughs> dharma is kya? Admi hai, admi hai to thik hai. But that is not right. So, because of the stage of life. In that stage of life, that is not right. Similarly, which place you are in, uh, I mean, which situation you are in, a lady in danger and coming to protection, to your protection, and then there is somebody who is chasing her, you protect her, putting her in your home, and when they come, will you tell the truth or not? Where is she? Uh, she is inside. <laughs> then what is the point? <laughs> you are actually allowing a sin to happen. You are accomplice to that. You say, no, she is not here. That is a lie. Then, is it dharma? Yes, it is dharma. And what count? Because you are protecting a life. Is it not? Therefore, dharma cannot be absolute. Also, when you are performing dharma, there is some amount of adharma is included there only. When you are doing yajna yagadi karma, when you are offering things, you know, let us say you, you are putting wood uh, to offer into the fire or invoking the fire. There are so many jantus that are sitting there inside the wood, they are all getting burnt. Adharma? You are killing? Then you are walking on the road, <laughs> there are so many things that are there. Oh, I can't heal, I can't. Then you can never walk. You take a cup of water, you know how many things are inside? You don't see it under the microscope, you see it. 10,000 other things are there. Thank God. In here it is less, in India it is more. Uh -huh. You are drinking. Then? So, dharma is mixed with adharma. And dharma cannot be absolute also. So, therefore, what is that where dharma cannot proceed further to engage, further to add punya to you? And at the same time, that which cannot make you fall away further down. What is that? 
achyuda swabhava achyuda means to fall down achyuda swabhava a brahma tu brahma sthiti tu achyuda swabhava meaning you cannot any more fall down meaning it is beyond the concepts of dharma and adharma it is in vedanta it is known as dharma and adharma joy and sorrow success failure these are called dwandva samoha players pairs of opposites dualities in advaita dwandva cannot exist in advaitam that which is one in which both are there but both are not influencing let me give an example with these eyes i can see the light as well as darkness what is the nature of the light eyes then light or dark with the nose i can smell both a fragrance and a foul smell what is the smell of the nose with the tongue i can taste both sweet and spice what is the taste of the tongue with the ear i can see i can hear the sound as well as silence what is the nature of the ears in the with the skin i can feel both the cold and heat what is the nature of the skin you will see is neutral is it not true if it is one i cannot experience other so the deha itself is made as advaita only <laughs> with the, so knowledge is that awareness is that both aware of knowledge as well as absence of it jnana varjita ajnana heena chit jnana mastikim jnatu mantaram is there anything to be known when you know that awareness which is both aware of knowledge as well as absence of it that jnana sthiti is advaita that jnana sthiti either narma nor adharma so do nachiketa is asking this question what is that which is where dharma and adharma both don't exist anyatra dharmat anyatra adharmat anyatra asmat krita akritat asmat krita akritat from this krita and akrita asmat krita asmat akrita both krita means what is brought into effect akrita means that which is the cause which is not an effect of anything so in general religion says god is akrita and world is krita jiva is krita ishwara is akrita if is a god also is creator created then who created him the world is created by god god is created by whom this usual question people ask ha huh? if world is created by the lord who created god if god, world father of the world is god who is god's father so you say god father <laughs> but that's not an answer <laughs> वो ईश्वर की पाप कौन है जैसे भगवान कृष्ण वेरी क्लियरली सेस पिता हम से जगत है आई एम द फादर ऑफ दिस यूनिवर्स दाता माता दाता पिता मह मदर फादर ग्रैंड फादर एवरीथिंग इज मी ओनली जो वेद्यम पवित्र ओंकार हृक स्वामी जी रेव आई एम द वन हु इज द वेरी फादर मदर ग्रैंड फादर ग्रेट ग्रैंड फादर एवरीथिंग मी ओनली मीनिंग यो डोंट गो बी ऑन दिस because the dosha that will come is not dosha huh? dosha means the defect is anavastita dosha will come because it will keep going round 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 avastita means stay anavastita means it never stays it never ends it keeps moving so therefore what is that which is neither cause nor an effect so he is not asking about god that is what is the point is he is not about asking about akrita ishwara he is not asking about jiva or jagat what is that which is neither the lord nor the creation neither the so called ishwar the god the one created nor the one who is this effect this whole world that what is beyond jiva jagat and jagadishwar kaun hai wo kya hai wo अन्यत्र अस्मात् अन्यत्रस्मा अकृता 
Then he says, Anyatra Bhuta Cha Bhavyacha. What is beyond Bhuta? Bhuta means Bhuta Kala. Bhavya means Bhavishya Kala. Cha, when he says Vartabana Kala Api. What is that which is beyond past, beyond future, and beyond the present? Hmm. Yet, that which is that that which is, he is not even doubting whether it is there. Tom Pashisi, you see it. <laughs> Yet, that Pashisi, that Vada. No, that Vada. <laughs> you tell me that which you see. He has no doubt that he is seeing it. You see it. Meaning, Tom Jana see it. You know it. You know that. Pashisi means you are seeing, meaning you know it. That you tell me. So, Nichiketa makes sure that, hope you have not forgotten what I have asked. Huh? So, don't deviate me here, there, and digress me here and there. I know that you know it. I know that you can teach me, that please you teach me them. So, having given this much of a reminder, now your Yama starts. Teaching always begins with preparation, right? Preparation doesn't mean the chair, table, etc. <laughs> Preparing the student's mind. First and foremost thing that student has to get ready with this is purity of mind. And more purity means not just clean mind, but focused mind. Focused mind means it is ability to attentively listen and comprehend. And that is why here the Yama begins with, let me tell you about what is that which is symbolically understood as Brahman about which you have to meditate? So, it is known as Omkara Upasana. This section is known as Omkara Upasana. Sarve Veda Yat Padama Mananti. Tapam Si Sarva Nichayat. Vatanti Yadi Chanto Brahmacharyam Charanti Tati Padam Sangrahina Bravimi O Mithye Tati Yet padam sarve vedaha amananti. Yet padam, the word padam, as Gurudev also writes, it has so many meanings. Pada means a footstep, pada means a sthanam, pada means a laksha, uh, pada means an abode, pada means a stiti. It's so many different connotation possibilities of that word is there. So here, yet sthanam, if you take that, sarve vedaha, you know, in Bhagavad Gita also, Bhagavan Krishna very clearly points this out. Vedaischa sarvaihi ahameva vedya. Vedaischa sarvaihi, sarvaihi vedaihi, vedya vastu ahameva. In, with all the Vedas, what is to be known is aham. In other place, very clearly, in the same statement as we made, Yadichinto Brahmacharyam Vadanti Charanti Tatya Padam Sangrahena Bravimi. The same statement he makes in Gita. So now we look at it that Ahameva Vedya, Vedaihi Sarvaihi. First of all, what is to be known through all the Vedas is Aham. Uh, so, the meaning, the subject matter of Vedas is what? Aham. Sarve Vedaha Yatpadam Amananti Declare, praise. What is that which is propounded by all the Vedas is what I am going to tell you. 
yat padam sarve vedaha amananti that is one and tapamsi sarvani cha yat vadanti sarvani tapamsi yad vadanti that which is spoken through all the tapas here tapaha means it is not just a persecution of the body or denial of anything indriya nigrahanam tapaha tapo vai brahma you know it is indriya nigrahanam it is ability to withdraw the senses at will that is called tapas ha huh? satapo tapyate satapas tatva idagam sarvam asrjata iditam kincha yacchat satchattacha bavadu niruktam cha niruktam cha nilayanam cha nilayam cha satyam satyam cha anrutam cha satyam abhavat in taitri upanishad that is this tapas is not a mere external act of control many of the our puranic stories also we see ravana also did tapas many other but those tapas are also indriya nigrahanam but the intention is something different any time you control something energy increases is it not you don't speak for a whole day your mind will become very active <laughs> because energy conserved you don't spend money bank balance increases is it not true yeah, it obviously <laughs> when you so don't say anything that's why it is said when uh, silence is golden you know i tell you silence is very golden but not when the children are there when the children are there there is silence means suspicion <laughs> what are they doing <laughs> so not speaking is also going to conserve energy not spending conserves money but that energy that is conserved what is to be used for that is important this here tapamsi sarvani yat vadanti what is that the tapas indicate to us why do people and get into tapas and also yad ichchantah desiring which brahmacharyam charanti yoginah men of self control engage in naishtika brahmacharyam lifelong celibacy desiring what tat padam that one that state te sangrahena bravimi in precisely i will tell you om ityetat that is called om so the upasana of om we will come to that next one will explain that om as you all know is made of three letters आ उ अण्म जाग्रस्ता अकार स्वप्नस्ता उकार सुषुप्तिस्ता मकार द वेकिंग स्टेट इज रेफर्ड बै आफ यू टेक इन इंग्लिश ए यु एम आर् इन संस्कृत आ उ अण्म जाग्रस्ता अकार रेप्रसेंट आल द जाग्रदवस्था वेकिंग स्टेट मोस्ट ऑफ अस आर इन i cannot be sure about everybody <laughs> ukara means swapna sthana all the experience of swapna some of you are and some of you are surely are there another one called makara sushupti sthana <laughs> state of sleep amatra tu atma eva where the om ends in the silence amatra 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 means where the single letter is also called amatra no nothing is also called amatra that's a different meaning akara matra ukara matra makara matra a u ma then amatra means where the matras end where there is no sound that is known as atman the self as even you chant om you are supposed to lose your breath you take a deep breath o oh. 
when you end that Om chanting with all the breath completely gone, but yet not taken the next inhalation, that time the mind stops. When mind stops means what? No thought. But awareness is there. I, the awareness. That, that state of thoughtless seconds or microsecond is where the awareness extends itself or expresses itself. So, Omkara Upasana is not just making a sound. It is more of concentrating on the sound that leading to absence of it. Swarena Sandhayet Yogam, Amrudavindu Upanishad. Swarena Sandhayet Yogam, Swarena, Omkarena, Pranavena, Sandhayet engage yogam into the practice aswaram bhavayet param then end in aswara not apaswara huh? some people know what is apaswara <laughs> aswaram aswaram is no swara swarena sandayet yogam aswaram bhavayet param aswarena anu bhavena abhavo bhavishyate this is how umrad bindu upanishad says Engage in chanting of the Om and end in no sound. In that no sound, when you practice, Abhava become Bhava and Bhava become Abhava. Jo hai, wo nahi hoga. Jo nahi hai, hoga. Meaning what? What was there as Bajagat or Vritti, Chitta Vritti, nahi hoga. Bhava, Habhava, Bhava, Abhava Ishyate, what was already there will become absent. Abhava, what is not known, Bhava Ishyate, becomes known. This unknown will become known, known will become unknown. That is the effect of Omkara Upasana. Now, if you see, take any object. I am looking at a leaf. So, that leaf is perceived, seen by my eyes. There are two things already, the leaf, the object and my eyes. The eyes are supported by the mind. So, object, eyes, mind. The mind is supported by consciousness. The light of consciousness only is able to make my mind, the vritti, understand the object as the perceivable thing. Now, give me, giving you another example. Let us say you take a camera and this camera, you take a picture. So, if it is a leaf, what it does is, it sends a light and captures the light back. Is it not? If you put a flash and take a picture, if a flash is not there, external light. What it pictures is only the shade of light. What is coming, what is reflected and takes it back. This light which is emanating from the camera or external source is captured back in the film. What film has is only the light. Please, this example is important. The, what the film has is only the light. What you are seeing is object. Correct or not? Oh, it's a beautiful leaf. You are not looking at the leaf. It's only the light. Similarly, when I see anything, the object is not captured. The light of consciousness is captured. The, 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 the reflection of consciousness, that is called, what is it called? Chidabhasa, chidabhasa, abhasate. The reflection of consciousness functioning through the mind acting as a vritti, captures the object, brings it back and captures it as only a light of consciousness. Every objective experience is only consciousness, that will be said later. Nothing else but consciousness. But then, when it has akhara, a particular form, because of the reference to some memory, I say leaf. The leaf is nothing but a consciousness having a condition. 
a conditioned consciousness is experienced. Whether it is a physical form which I take as a, a murti akar or a sound or a taste or touch, all of them are vritti akar only. And what I am thus experiencing all the time is conditioned form of consciousness. As much as any picture you see is nothing but captured light. Hmm. So, when you say Om, or when you come to end the Om with silence, what akar comes to your mind? What form comes to your mind? In that condition where the sound has ended, silence prevailed, no particular akara or vritti takes place in your mind, then its nijaswarupa is realized. That is why omkar is an important means. That I shall teach you now. So, making the boys concentration first, attention. Without that attention, the proceeding further will not be easy. So, therefore, tat padam te sangrahena in brief pravakshye. I shall speak here, pravakshye in Gita here, bravimi, I will tell you om ityetat. That is called om. Next to two verses are together, we will read one after another. Edat devaksharam brahma. Edat evaksharam param. Edat evaksharam yatva. Yo yadichaditasyatate. Edadalambanam sreshtam. Edadalambanam param. Edadalambanam yatva. Brahma loke mahiyate. Edadhi eva. Aksharam Brahma. Edat hi become edat heva. Edat hi eva aksharam Brahma. Edat hi eva aksharam param. Why twice it is said? It is aksharam Brahma, aksharam param. Two, are, two words are used, two usages. When it is specifically said Brahma, it means Brahman, the Absolute. When it says Param, it is Brahma, the Hiranyagarbha. So, as we know, there are three possible upward position, upward movement for a Jiva. Swarga Prapti, Punya Prapti, Punya and Swarga Prapti. Upasanaya, Brahma Loka Prapti. Jnanena, uh, Paramatma Prapti or Jeevan Mukti Prapti. These three are there. Meaning, a person who is doing good deeds in this world and rituals will reach Swarga. But that is Punaravritti. It will be uh, a path of return. A person who having given up the personal desires and doing the Upasana of Om, will reach Brahma Loka, where an individual is ready for Brahma Jnanam and he will be taught there and when Brahma's tenure is over, he will get the Mukti, it is called Krama Mukti. But when a person is ready here itself, where he has given up all desires, he through Jnanam, he reaches the Jivan Mukti here itself. There is no going somewhere. So, in this verse, he says both. Edat eva aksharam brahma, edat eva aksharam param. Param means here, hiranyagarbha, which is hiranyagarbha means brahma in our uparanic usage. So, edichasi tasyatat, that is what, whichever he desires. Edichati, whatever he desire, tasya, to such a person, tat. If he needs, if he meditates, 
as upasana if he does of om he will have brahma loka prapti so it is said here that uttama adhikari hitu omkara eva brahma iti dhyayate aksharam vina dhyayate aksharam vina dhyayate means he doesn't use om but he knows om as brahman madhyam adhikari tu saksharam dhyayate he uses om to as upasana adama adhikari tu omkaram eva dhyayate <laughs> he says om alone is there <laughs> he will be at home only <laughs> three uttama adhikari without the symbol he can directly meditate upon the uh, nirakara brahma whereas a uh, madhyam adhikari uses it saksharam with using the symbol he meditates or does the upasana it is as much as you go to a temple for an individual who does not have the ability to soar to the height of nirakara needs a physical form of god to take him off to the next level so this is upasana it's called upasana but many people in general when they can don't consider that it is only a means marga they say that is brahman or that is god so all pujas are done thing that is god nothing wrong but that is that is also equally good but not, not doing something else at least so for those people who are doing it as an upasana it is brahma loka prapti those who are understanding om is an indicator knowing that akara ukara makara swarupa amatra swarupa atma uh, that understanding takes him to ज्ञान प्राप्ति आत्मज्ञान प्राप्ति सो एव अक्षर ज्ञावा नो हियर अगेन इट इज नॉट द ओम दट फिजिकल सिंबल दट इज इंपार्टेंट इवन फॉर ए उपासक द ओम सिंबल इज नॉट इंपार्टेंट द सउंड सी फॉर एग्जांपल इफ आई राइट ख इन संस्कृत खे ए इन इंग्लिश और in hindi or in malayalam or in tamil the letters may be different their letters are all called akshara only but in whichever language in which i write sound is the same ka only ha uh, in the same way omkara is not that physical lettering of that om it is otherwise you cannot understand therefore it is given but what is important for upasaka is the chanting of the om and that is the reason why in most of our scriptures any name of the lord you take om is put further om namo narayanaya om namah shivaya uh, om hrim hrim gleam om gam ganapatiye namaha om iti brahma om iti idakam sarvam mm. om tat savidurvarenyam om so therefore this aksharam is in the next verse what he said alambanam support shreshtam alambanam it is the most important support for anyone etad alambanam shreshtam etad alambanam param here also shreshtam param shreshtam brahmana brahma brahma dhyanaya for the sake of dhyanartham brahma dhyanartham shreshtam etad aksharam brahma upasanartham shreshtam om for the sake of upasana also om is a very good support a lambanam lamb lambade means that which hangs a lambade meaning which hangs down which is supporting so etad alambanam shreshtam now you see let me give an example <clears throat> when you are i mean yesterday i was in phoenix so I, i was coming and it was late afternoon so i thought i will have coffee i'm hmm. looking for a particular symbol right what symbol <laughs> how do you know <laughs> okay anyway now 
if i see the symbol he, as soon as i symbol something happens you know <laughs> immediately the the salivas and everything the thought of coffee the smell of coffee from a very distance only you get it no but then when i go there i didn't buy it but anyway, when i go there let us say then there are people who are you know making the coffee inside that counter they also wear in their shirt that symbol of starbucks there is a difference between the fellow who is wearing the symbol versus the fellow who is looking at the symbol one is a customer one is a worker symbol is the same but treatment is different for him it's a work every day for me it's a pleasure for the owner it's a pride is it not if he goes to conference and then he says my the symbol he wears oh is a is ceo of that company so he takes it as a pride this is my brand as a worker this is my prarabdha <laughs> and the for me it's a pleasure so symbol remains the same how the each one is looking at it is different similarly you upasaka ha adama purusha is one who considers o meloni is there upasaka for him is a marga a symbol for a realized soul that represents he is proud he is a represent he is a owner <laughs> i am om whereas for upasaka is a marga it's a means for a madhyama purusha one who is not having the correct knowledge that becomes the object of worship so in all the three it's alambanam for a jeevan mukta is also alambana a support for a upasaka also is a support for a worshipper is also support but here specifically for the one who is taking it as a support to recognize brahman as one's own self he is using as a upasana such a person brahma loke mahiyate one who is taking it as a alambana he enjoys in brahma loka mahiyate means he is glorified brahma loke saha mahiyate nyatva edad alambanam nyatva he is worshiped or he is glorified in the brahma loka because he is a knower of brahman in that way now comes the serious topic ha huh? i am proceed on to say what i am trying to tell you is here this portion is known as amrita swarupa atma atma jo hai wo amrita swarupa hai na jayate mriyate va vipaschit na yam kutas chinna babhuva kaschit अजो निशाश्वत यम पुराण न हन्य हन्यम शरीर इन वेदांत कापी राइट मीन यू हैव द कापी यू हैव द राइट टू कापी लिटरली लिफ्टेड फ्रॉम यर इज टू गीता नो क्वेश्चन आस्ट व्यास एन एवर क्लेम्ड इन अ कोर्ट obviously he is the <laughs> own road that also so obviously he has compiled it and taken it there na jayate not born na mriyate not subject to death these two are beginning and end of a thing anything that is subject to birth is subject to death which in between what happens vardate vipranay vidhi apakshyate that which is growing changing decaying that is all understood so that which has no ja, ja, jananam na maranam api then vardhamanam vardate na vardate na parinamate na apakshiyate api it is not subject to growth not subject to change not subject to decay 
that is understood na jayate va or mriyate uh, it is neither born nor subject to death vipaschit vipaschit means in sanskrit the word vepa means to tremble vepa vepate vip vepate it also means gets inspired in english whipped up <laughs> that's what's called whip means vepate <laughs> whipped up whipped up means what one is stirred throbbing vibrating within inspiring so the inspired one the inspiration the very thing that inspires one is called vipaschit another commentator writes as viprakrishtam chitavanti iti vipaschitah viprakrishtam chitavanti that very clearly have given up the unreal identification viprakrishtam uh, completely uh, chitavanti has destroyed his identification with matter vipaschit nayam kutaschit ayam na kutaschit it is not from anything kutaschit means from something na ayam not this it is not from something na kaschit babuva nothing came from out from it it came from nothing nothing came out of it think about it not born not subject to death nothing came out of it it came out of nothing hai hi ki nahi ya hai aaj hai nitya hai it is anwar but it is there nitya means it is permanent shashvat hai everlasting purana hai ancient pura api nava idi yat tittati sa purana even the old it's always new even a 95 year old person loves own self is it not you are so old for everybody <laughs> not for myself <laughs> one never gets old is it not true others may look at his body or externally says you are so old old i but my love for myself never ends uh, body gets old not the mind so purana means what this soul eternal soul it is it is even though the ancient most but always new ma sharire hanyamane even the body is killed na hanyate is not dead so it's very appropriately used by krishna at the context there in gita you think you are killing nobody can kill it you can kill the body not that because uh, it cannot be burned by fire it cannot be wet by that water it cannot be dried up by the air it cannot be cut by the uh, sword hmm? you cannot do any one of that akle dyoyam adahyoyam achedyoyam it is not possible to dry or it is not possible to wet or it not it is not possible to cut so ajo nitya shashvato yam purana nahanyade hanyamane sharire when the body is killed this cannot be killed because it is not a matter that can be destroyed by any other panchabudas are there only panchabudas can affect the panchabudas hmm? that is called panchatvam panchatvam means death only the panchabudas when they are together when they start departing you get the, what is known as death but these five elements which has come together as a matter when they depart only the matter goes away but that which is present in that which is the consciousness not matter cannot be touched by that matter why it has no birth it has no death meaning one may say then how do you prove it is there aja hai nitya hai how do you prove it is there how do you prove it is there see the point is here again coming back to the example of a vritti the ultimate vritti being aham vritti i the vritti the thought about i 
is also a thought only. At the present moment, whatever type of upasana you do or dhyanam you do, you will come to this point only. What? Aham. I am. Uh, yeah, then even when you say, so I am sitting there in meditation and no thought is there, even no thought is there, but that is also known as a thought. <laughs> it's all silence. I'm experiencing silence. That is also another thought. <laughs> so this, that is why Ravana Maharshi says, Vrittayastu aham vritti maashritaha vrittayo mano vidyaham mana. Until that I thought also nashaho, when that I also goes away, in that very place, the new I will come. That I is not a vritti. Aham inashabhati, aham aham taya, spurati hirutsvayam paramapurna sat. It is complete realization of the one awareness which is present even as the vritti called aham is absent. So, it is not somebody else to prove you as an object. It is not possible. That is why here he says, it is. Ajaha, Nityaha, Shashvata, Purana. These are all adjectives and says, even as the physical body dies, that does not die. Nahanyade, Hanyamane, Sharire. And that is why the next two verses, you know, that is also used by Gita. Very, you know, casually, not casually. Of course, carefully, but without giving any copyright to <laughs> the Upanishad, it's taken up completely lifted from there. Hanta chain manyate hantum, Hatas chain manyate hatam, Ubauto navijani to. Nayam hanti na hanyate Anoraniyan mahato mahiyan Atmasya jantor nihito guhayam Tamakradu pashyati vita shoko Dadu prasadan mahimana matmanaha Hanta hantum manyate. Hanta means hantru. Hantru, the killer, thinks that he is killing. Hanta manyate chet hantum iti. I am killing in this way a killer things. Hataha hatam iti che manyate chet. A, a, a person who is being killed, he thinks I am being killed. If, if a killer thinks he is killing, if the killed thinks he is getting killed, ubhav, both of them, tau ubhav, those two, na vijanati, they do not know what. Na, I am Hanti, it neither kills nor gets killed. Oh, good. <laughs> Let me get on now. <laughs> Take a bull, kick the gun in the Hanta che the Manya de Hantum. Hathas che the Manya de Hatha, Nubota on a Vijani. Na, I am Hanti, Nanya. This is not a license to kill. <laughs> it is to make us realize that this body is the one which is engaging in the act of killing, thinking that the ego thinks I am killing or it is getting to become the victim of such an act of killing, thinking that it is getting killed. Both are wrong. Neither killer is wrong nor the killed is, neither killer is true nor the killed is true. That is a skill. So, upautau <laughs> navijani Nayam hanti na hanyat. Meaning, karta abhina atma, it is not a karta the doer, na kritam. It is neither the kritam. I ask whether, right? A krita ha, krita ha. Neither the non doer nor the doer. Uh, neither the cause nor the effect. Not dharma na adharma. See, it is beyond dharma and adharma. 
If you say killing is adharma, he is doing that also. Not killing is a dharma, that is also him. <laughs> is neither dharma nor adharma. So in the case of Gita there, in that context, is it dharma to kill? Huh? In a different context, killing is not dharma. Hmm. When you are inside the mosquito net, let us say, and the one fellow <laughs> inside, <laughs> Would you what? Will you have a duet song with him? He sing, he also sing. Hello, is. Najayate, Mriyate. Nayam Hanti, Nahanyate. Uboto Vina Janita. You. You definitely get rid of something which is troubling you. Uh, you cannot sit saying and do it with it. So, <laughs> there, yes, this killing is not considered as a sin there. It is considered as an intelligent way of doing things. <laughs> uh, it is anoho aniyan. It is a subtler than the subtle most. Mahato mahiyan. At the same time, not after some time. At the same time, it is the bigger than the biggest you can think of. Brahatvat Brahma, Bhumao, Bhuma Eva. It is the biggest the th thing you can think of. Where is it? Jantoho Atma, Asya Atma, this self, Jantoho Guhayam Nihita. Buddhao, Nihita, Nihaya, Guhaya means the cave called the Buddhi in the very, very seat of consciousness present as ability of the buddhi. The buddhi is capable of knowing because of the presence of consciousness. When the buddhi does not recognize, acknowledge the consciousness as the reason why the buddhi is capable of knowing and if he thinks that I know, that is called ahankar. Ahankar is not, ego is not just a pride, it is a mistaken identity. I know that very idea that I know, janami aham idi yo buddhi manyate sahankara. Ahankara is that which thinks that I know, that is ahankar. Because it doesn't acknowledge the presence of consciousness of, because of which only it can be known. Hmm. If the eyes think, looking at a flower, I am able to see. Uh, without the sunlight, how will you see it? I don't even acknowledge that. I am able to see. How will you then say, if the light is not there, will you be able to see? You see? <laughs> so, namaskar. Surya Bhagavan, namaskar. Aapki prasad se hi, aisa ho raha hai. Dadu prasad atma hi manam atman hai. Tamakraduhu vita shoka hai. Pashyati. So, Tamakraduhu. Akraduhu means akamaha. Desireless alone can see clearly. Pashyati. What? Dadu prasadat. Indriya prasadat. Indriya sayamana prasadat. Indriya shanti prasadat. Ability to recognize that is possible only with the help of sense organs quiet. Dadu here means sense organs. Prasada means their quietude. When the sense organs are quiet, when they, including the mind, manahatu shastani indriyani, sixth sense, when that is also quiet, then pashyati. What? Atmanam pashyati. Tamakraduhu tam atmanam pashyati. Kaha akraduhu akamaha. Prasadat tadu prasadat. Atmanam, Atmanas, Atmanaha Mahimanam, the glory of the self he could see, and because of which we become Vita Shoka. He becomes free of sorrow. So only then one realizes the self within oneself, one can really get rid of sorrow. Until then, Sorrow created by the world and the situations in the world around can never be ended. So one is there and gone, another will come. Every day new, new sorrows will be produced by the world and you can never stop it. 
Now, the next verse we will see tomorrow, which is the nature of contradictoriness of the Atman. So, here slowly, slowly Yama will unfold the nature of Swarupa of Atma. Om Sarve Bhavantu Sukinaha Sarve Santu Niramaya Sarve Badrani Pashyantu Makas Chiddukka Badbavet Om Shanti 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 Hari Om Sri Gurubhyo Namaha Hari Om